the poor boy is planting the potato. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Crossroads in MDMI. And today I will be trying to solve a problem of light. Why the fuck I don't have life with my tavern? What the fuck is going on over here? Wait, does this thing require fuel? Oh. <laughs> okay, so we need to look for something that looks like a cheesecake in order to put it in my torches. Lovely. All right. Cheesecake. I wonder where the fuck I'm supposed to get that thing. There it is. Fat. Okay, I think I can get it from here. 58. Is hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Just, just to be sure that this is actually a good price. 58 over there. How about here? Fat, 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 fat. I'm looking for fat. I'm looking for fat. I'm looking for fat. No fat over here. Your employee is leveling up. That's good, but I'm trying to find the fat. 56 over here. Okay, so more or less is the same thing. Uh, right, we also need some sausages. Uh, yeah, I can get some sausages from this place. And we need to get some beans and some bread as well. Okay, that's very convenient. So let's get some fat. 20 fat? Yeah, that should be. That should be completely fine. Alright, order it. Okay, delivery is gonna come very soon. So, ladies and gentlemen, my tavern is making money. A lot. A lot of money. I wonder how exactly I'm supposed to order them to refill this thing. No idea. Do we have the fat over here? Can I somehow ch check what I have with the palette? I don't think so. This is fat. Okay, so the fat has been delivered. Now I just have to figure out how to exactly put this thing on the torches. So the thing, this thing is gonna go back up. Okay, you're gonna grab it? I think you are. Yeah, you've grabbed the fat. Okay, so where are you going with this thing? You're going here. How about you're gonna actually use this? To store some of the resources. Okay, good. Back to light, I guess. We're starting to get more and more people around and the tavern looks really fucking dirty. So I think this is actually the moment where we need to hire somebody else to help around. Let's see. I would like to get... Okay, what you good at? Brave. Nothing, nothing scares her. Drunk tart. Okay, so this, not, this is not even an option. Hmm. What about you guys? Dull. Gloomy. Hmm, okay. This guy can be sick and he's greedy. He also, she also drinks my alcohol. And this guy also is sly. Yeah. Okay, so how about we gonna unlock the final trait? Okay, let's try to hire this guy. Because I think I can actually put him into cleaning stuff. Yeah. There's too little food to feed all the patrons. What do you mean it's too little food? It's all the food we need. Uh okay, you're gonna your main focus is gonna be cleaning. That's gonna be your main focus, dude. We just need to hire more people. That, that's the sad truth about this. Because eventually you're gonna get so many customers that the uh, crew that you have at the beginning will simply will not be enough to, you know, serve everybody around. So you need to have additional help here and there. I mean, for now I can go, I think, with only one cook, since we don't have that many uh, requests for food. But uh, cleaning, yeah. And since we have to accept delay very soon, which I hope I'll actually be able to do in this episode, then I'm guessing cleanness in the, the tavern. Say your inn is dirty. Yeah, exactly. We have to probably solve the problem with dirt around the tavern a lot. The thing is, I don't know why my guys are not cleaning the stuff. They need to buy soap? Or something like that? Is there a soap in this game? I don't think so. We got water, but they are not cleaning the tavern, and I don't know why, and I don't know what to do with it. That's ice, garlic, fat, dirt, eggs, flour, fish, firewood, cloth. Maybe we need clothing. A very basic utility in the inn. Use it to wiping every surface. I mean every surface. So I actually need clothing for this thing? Hold on a second. Let's let's get some. Oh, there is soap. Okay, what is soap used for? Can you actually give me some description over here? No, you cannot. That's just great. Okay, how about we're gonna go to the farmers? Let's see. Do we have soap? I don't think so. Yeah, probably they don't. Okay, that's just great. Right, crossroads. I need to buy some soap from you. Uh, and you need to buy some cloth. Please tell me you have cloth. Cloth, 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 cloth. Nope, you just have this thing. That's not exactly good. Okay, I don't think I need any other resources right now, which is a bit of a bummer. Shit. What to do, what to do, what to do, what to, what to buy. 
Okay, maybe don't buy anything. Let's try. Maybe those farms do not have something I need. Can you kind of shut up, vinegar? No cloth. Two hundred eighty-three for cloth. No, 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 no. You know, as stupid as it sounds, apparently I have to pay this price for clothing because I cannot find any any cheaper around me. So that's a thing. Uh, okay, don't think you had clothing over here, or you just have soap. No, I think you only have soap. I wonder what the soap is used for. I have to actually go back and check. Two hundred twenty-eight. Uh, do you have soap? I mean, uh, clothing. Cereal, fertilizers, flour, no. Okay, maybe in the old market. Okay, this is a bit cheaper, so that's always good. I could try to get this thing over here. Is there anything else I could try to actually get? I could try to buy some lager since, you know, I'm already going over here. Uh, and some plates. Okay, so let's get some plates. The rest of the resources are quite okay. I can just get myself a bunch of tomatoes if needed. Let's get uh, two more barrels of lager. Anyway. One pile of cloth. Okay, it's already cost me 600. <laughs> Great deal! Plates. Okay, and some soap, just in case. Alright, so that's gonna solve my dirtness problem surrounding the in the inn. Holy shit, I was not expecting that I actually need to buy clothing and... Yeah, uh, what is soap used for? What's what's soap for? What's soap? Your is Only a dope doesn't use a soap. No idea what that's supposed to mean. <laughs> Oh, this is so bad. Alright, so here I grabbed this pile of, of clothing over here. Apparently this is the thing I need to use to do some cleaning around. Okay, go and start cleaning. What? What the fuck? The floor is clean. <laughs> what is this magic? <laughs> what the fuck has happened? The dirt has magically disappeared. Oh my god. This is like a good commercial in TV about cleaning equipment. What the fuck is this? Why there's a rat inside of my fucking tavern? Since you have to buy now a rat trap? Okay. I don't know exactly how this thing is supposed to work, but he's outside. He somehow managed to go through the door, and now he's going for my pallet. Yo, stay away, dipshit! Some people fear that the other side of the ocean, there are huge rats with human traps. Well, that's not a lot of those people. Great. Storage? Select the sources to store in. <laughs> uh, yeah, store everything, apparently. Oh, great, you've managed to capture the rat. How the fuck did that work? Okay, that's magic apparently. Right, one rat less on the <laughs> in the inn. <laughs> lovely. So let my lovely little tavern run for a little while, and as I can see, I'm making quite a bit of money. <laughs> However, I'm running quite of out of resources once again. Can I finally get uh open up this city over here so I can trade with it? Wait, what? Oh. What? What? So I don't have enough influence yet to establish a new trade route. Hmm. I wonder how exactly, what exactly need to do to get that fucking trade route. I mean, I, mean, I already have 16 uh, influence, so it should be unlocked, but for some no reason to me it's not unlocked yet. So that's just great. Uh, how about this one? Can I lock my way into this one? Nope, not enough influence. This is not exactly helping, you know? I'm actually thinking about remodeling the storage area in the kitchen, but... You know, technically I think it's gonna stay. Now, how the heck I can get myself another floor? That's uh, that's the first question I have. There has to be a way to get this thing actually done. Hold on a second. Uh, let's see... Kitchen, storage, staff room. Or one more room, please go to relax and complete some minor horses. Horse. <laughs> Wars. The favorite, uh, the favorite activity is however it's something entirely different. Complaining, blabbering about the employer. Hmm. Well, okay, that's also I think quite useful. Maybe I could try to make it behind the kitchen. What's this? Game room. Hmm. A game where scoundrels encourage you guests to play cards and dice. Oh really? Here people cry tears of joy after an unexpected gain, or cry the other kind of tears after a sudden loss of their monthly earnings. Yeah, that's that's a thing. Okay, empty room. So we need to make stairs. Right. So the stairs could go actually... Oh, this is not gonna fit. Oh. Well, this is a bit of a difficulty. Hold on a second. Can I actually... Can I do over... Uh, over my base floor? 
Can I build over it? I don't think so. No, I cannot. Okay, that's a big problem right now. That is a serious problem. Oh, shit. Okay, I don't... Okay, let's try to do this thing. And can I actually squeeze this... Oh, this is not gonna work. Oh, son of a bitch! Finally, all of the customers have left, so I can uh, try to work around a little bit with the... Uh, with the furniture, so let's see. I just hope that the game won't bug because I'm about to move a bunch of stuff around me. Okay, so temporarily move that things over there. Uh, same goes for you. Okay, you go to the bedroom. Okay, move this torch here. Temporary. This is just all temporary movement. Now, I'm gonna move this... Maybe don't move the pal... Okay, this is... Okay, hope this thing won't actually explode. Right, so what I'm thinking is that we could try to make a staff room over here, you know? Just to increase the happiness of my people. So... Can I actually do... Uh, I have to first sell this thing, apparently. Okay, and now I want to make myself a staff room. Something like this. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I hope it's actually gonna work according to plan. Now, I need to make a kitchen... Shit, it's not connected. Shit. Kitchen. There you go. I cannot extend it over here because there are stuff over there. That's great. Okay, wait for those guys to do the shit. Yeah, come on, people. Move it. Move move the items. Chop, chop. Chop, chop. I need the free space over there. I've already wasted lots of resources. Holy shit. <laughs> Where did all of my money disappear? So we got those two rooms over here. I uh, need to make myself a door. Okay, let's see. Maybe something less fancy. This one? Yeah, okay, that works. So this is gonna be the staff room. I'm not exactly sure what the heck I'm supposed to put in the staff room. What, what do you put in the staff room, huh? That's a serious question right now. What what the fuck do I put? Simple stove. S uh, shacks. Sacks. Really not much to say about sacks as a whole. <laughs> they just are. Hmm. Poor kitchen table. Simple kitchen table, but popular in the countryside households, nevertheless. Okay. Alright, so how about we're gonna put a table over here? I just hope that people won't try to come here and actually try to get served because this is not supposed to be a room for the people to go in. Okay, and how about I'm gonna put some fancy tidy. How about I'm gonna put some nice chairs over here. So my stuff can actually rest here a little tiny bit. Okay, I wasted a lot of money already, so that's great. Okay, so that's one thing. Now let's see. I want to move some of those items around. Put the storage here, put the other storage, actually, you know what, let's put the storage over here, like this. Uh, then we can actually move the barrel over there as well. I want to have a door, let's make a fancy door maybe. Okay, like this, not this. Okay, put the well, like such, get the pallet here, put the chopping block here, I guess. Okay, that should work. Now. The items necessary inside the kitchen. So this thing goes here. Then you have to put the stove and you have to put the thingy for the uh, firewood. Okay, and then one of the torches, I think this one over here, is going here. And then we need to buy ourselves a new torch as well. And this torch is gonna go more or less over here. So you're actually gonna see what you're cooking. <laughs> okay. Now those items need to get moved as well, so grab you. Okay, the barrels with the drinks will be behind this thing. I'm gonna move the torch over there. Actually, hold on a second, move this thing a bit to the side. Like this, okay, move this thing here. Right, it's, it's already looking a bit better you now. If you ask me, that's for sure. Okay, cannot move that thing because somebody's sitting there. I don't know who that guy is even. Okay, one table over here. One table over here, another table over here, leave some more space. You're gonna have stairs over here, right? So... Hey, it doesn't look half bad, you know? And I just wasted all of the money I have earned, so... <laughs> Yay! If I'm gonna put this thing here, and then put this thing here... I hope it's actually gonna work according to plan. There you go. So they still have space for the stairs. Yep. You can put a fancy one. Or I can just put a simple one. 
Hmm, interesting. Okay, maybe I should try to move this table a bit. Oh, it looks so bad. <laughs> Actually, I think we can leave it as it is, like this. Move it a bit, a bit to the side. There you go. Yeah! So I've placed the stairs over here. I had to remove actually one of the benches because the benches was blocking that thing. So now we have access to the floor. Good. So what the fuck I'm supposed to do here? Uh, okay, so we have to make a room, right? The game does not specify exactly how big this room needs to be. Can I make it three by three just? Okay, and let's make the... Oh shit. Oh shit, okay, hold on a second. I uh, want to extend this thing. There we go. Okay, and now I got 6,000 left, so let's make maybe fancy door. Okay, that works. Okay, one quest done. So now what? Your reputation is Okay. Improved. It told me to build the. It told me to build the private room, but it doesn't tell me about furniture, so I'm kind of worried about that thing. It ain't much, but it ain't awful either. I think there's a chance to Countess might like it. It's time to repay. Reply to her letter and see what she wants us, wants with us. Reply to the letter. No, don't reply to it yet. Kind lady, we must admit that your excellency let her through surprising brought us a great deal of pleasure. Never had we hoped for that someone of such status would notice our humble inn. That being said, we have prepared a private room only for your excellency and eagerly await your excellency arrival. The crossroad in innkeepers. Send the letter. I've passed the letter to one of the couriers. In the meantime, let's try to gather as much information about the Countess as we can. Yeah, don't fucking say. Okay, well, uh... First of all, we have to clean this thing, because it's fucking filthy, and then we have to actually put some proper furniture inside, because holy shit. Okay, windows. There we go. Okay, and now let's actually worry about some furniture. I don't have the right bed for this thing, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, she just have to sleep on this pathetic peasant bed. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. Okay, a mirror, that's for sure. Uh, I'm gonna go into background see because of this. Elegant desk, yes. Let's build you here. Uh, let's add a little chair. Okay, what's this? Night potty. For when you need to go, but don't want to wake anyone up. Or there gently is no toilet around. Yeah, sure, let's put it inside as well. <laughs> so she can shit in the corner. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. Okay, and a uh, really nice... So chandelier over there and okay how about some flowers around as well so one flower over here one flower over here holy shit this room is so fucking pathetic <laughs> okay let's put those things here so nobody's gonna flip over and actually accidentally kill themselves can I put actually a wagon upstairs no I can't sadly okay what else we could try to build here Something that the Countess may enjoy. I have no idea what she could try to enjoy. The game is not actually specific about that. Sadly. Oh, looks like somebody's coming. Okay. What do you mean it's too few food? We have a lot of food. Also, uh, we have to actually order some more wood because... Yeah, that's a thing. I'm running out of wood, ladies and gentlemen. So let's order a few of those. Okay, what else we could try to order? I think I have everything from this side. Onions. Yeah, I'm actually on the limit if you ask me, but okay, we should be fine for now. Okay, this lady over here has a quest for sure. Haven't we met already? Hello! Critics in Keeper, I'm Count Countess Elisa Devon. I see that the creator, creator keeps you in good health, which sadly cannot be said about your inn. I must admit I was expecting more, but at least the surroundings are rather lovely. I assume my room has been prepared? Your room has been prepared, Countess. Welcome, Countess. The people far and wide tell tales of your beauty, and yet they are nothing co compared to the goddess that I see before me. <laughs> I'm already tired of your games. Okay, uh, let's try to be polite, maybe? Okay, she likes that. What a lovely compliment. Bravo, and thank you, Innkeeper. I think there is no denying that simple words can hardly start describing my beauty. I do hope you are a good... As good with keeping your guests satisfied as you are with compliments. Short skill is bound to benefit both you and your inn. Your room is have been prepared. 
I do hope I find it suitable. For now, I need to rest. We'll speak later, then, Keeper. Okay, Melide. Uh, you're not supposed to sit with the filth, you know. You're supposed to go upstairs. Also, can somebody please clean this filth? Guys, you're not. A I know you're on a break, but you have to really clean this thing now. What the fuck is she? Why the fuck she's sitting with the filth? <laughs> with the peasants? Oh no! This is so bad! Inkeeper, I see the room is ready. Indeed, Your Majesty. How do you like it? The thing is, uh, you actually needed to click on her and tell her that the uh, you're gonna rent her a room. It's functional, yes. I imagine it could be worse. Oh great, thank you. Maybe there is something specific you desire, Countess. Maybe something from my beloved Sabrina. A decoration of sorts reminding of my beauty of the south. Would you mind getting me something like that, dear Inkeeper? Get the influence in the Dory. Okay. Where I can find such a decoration? I would suggest looking for it in the Dory, a beautiful red city just south of here. It's the biggest Sambrian settlement so close to the Yorvale border. Kent Lady, I dare say that already is. Uh, that. Say there already is the most beautiful thing from the Sambra in the room. You. <laughs> okay. Should I try to compliment her? Well, she's not a thing, right? So maybe that's not gonna be... Okay, I'm on it. I'm on it. No no point in risking, man. It's no point in going on a fucking mine. Where the fuck she's going? Oh, yeah, of course. She had to... Sh <laughs> she went to the shit there. <laughs> of course. Right. Uh, Can I actually... Wait, hold on. I cannot move. Okay, there you go. Uh, So... Not enough influence. Well, fuck you too. Carpet. Okay. Send somebody there and grab that fucking carpet now! Who the fuck is this guy? Yo! Borderlands is in completely different platform gaming thing. This is on Steam. The, the, the Borderlands is on Epic Store. The I fuck is this? Wind in my hair. Hello, Inkeeper. My name is Million and I speak for the ca couriers. I've learned that none, o none other than the blessed Viper Lisa Devon is staying here in your inn. Is that true? Tell me what she is to you, for I fear you might not know. Well, who are you dealing with? Countess? Couriers? Aye, the couriers. The griffon riding folk from the northern mountains of Yorville, carrying message all across their clearance, slowly heard of us. And if not, well, now we have, haven't you? Now tell me, what is your relation with the Countess? The Countess is my guest, same as you. I don't trust her, but they do say you should keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Until the enemy gets too so close, they stab you in your blessed face. That's the mountain folk version of that saying, anyway. I've been dealing with that Viper Devon for some time, and now let me tell you this. Do not underestimate her. Dealing with her. The political status of the Curious have never been stable. The late King Owen treated us well and respected our autonomy, but ever since his death, many nobles have been gaining more and more influence, and some of them quite openly proclaim they will take our griffons and freedom away from us. And what's all that to go uh, got to do with the Countess? As a political figure and supporter of powerful nobles, she too wishes for the couriers to give up their griffons. But we are and always will be free folk in Keeper, so you can imagine how we'll feel about you working with that viper. I had a long day, Lady Merlin. Please give me some time to think about this. The Countess seems like a powerful and dangerous woman, indeed. I do not yet know what your goal is in is goal it in all this is in keeper but trade lightly for we have entered a dangerous world and if you ever decide to fight that blasted viper we could help each other sure whatever beard woman so apparently one of my workers have returned with the carpet okay dip. let's put it like this maybe <laughs> is actually a good idea hope it is okay the countess should be happy about that Ah, the color, the quality of the material, beautiful! Surely the handwork from Sibira Masters, probably from Ragosa. You can tell by the gold and subtlety emblemated into it. Oh, you've made me happy, Inkeeper. Thank you. Now the room is perfect. You need anything else? Can I leave now? Uh, are the, all the ladies in Sambria so... I've heard so much about Sambria. The beaches, the culture, and the woman, so... Okay, maybe not do. Anything else? I got hungry from all that talk. Could you tell the cook to prepare me something to eat? Something local. Or maybe something from Undermaft. We are so close to the border after all. Well, that depends. Would you like to prepare it? Would you like you... What? W what would you like to prepare for me, dear innkeeper? Let's try something local. 
Splendid. Send your cock to the west to Druchal. I've heard it's finally getting back on its position of the economical map after the destruction during the Great Fire. Oh, so you're supposed to send your cook to learn a new recipe. Ah, okay. So this is what this thing is for. Okay, so we have to send somebody here. Okay. The cook Kismo. And I'm gonna prepare the ingredients as well right away. Okay. Go, my boy, go! Learn! New recipe. The fuck is this? The local chef is not interested in sharing his knowledge with anyone, but your employee is not one to give up. He spends countless hours trying to get the chief attention, persuading him or giving him no chance at all for a quiet moment. Eventually, the talent cook agrees to teach him how to prepare the meal for a price. Fuck, pay it, okay? I can't. I can afford it. Okay, so my cook is gonna learn that thing, but the thing is that I don't have potatoes or whatever that thing is. Right? Because if you cannot check. The, okay, cannot check it anymore. Well, shit. I don't have access to potato. Hello? What's, what's my food? How much longer do you expect? Some of the ingredients are really hard to come by. Oh, no worries. I know how to solve this problem. Just grab your sp spade and grow them yourself. Excuse me? Oh, great. You heard me. If you can get the proper ingredients, you better go and grow it yourself. I did not come all the way here to try to rock your food. And I'm sure I'm not living without it. Yes, madam. Right. How the fuck I can build that thing? Okay. Found it. So, uh... Yeah, sure, let's build it in front of the inn. <laughs> so the people know. <laughs> the ingredients are locally grown. Okay, how do I do this? Water, plant. Potato! Do it! The poor boy is planting the potato. <laughs> I wonder how long it's gonna grow. That's that's the real question over here. Water this, I guess. They have to do it manually or you're gonna do it automatically. Also, why the fuck the tavern is dirty again? Did I run out of cloth? No, I still have cloth. Can somebody please clean this thing? It's really fucking filthy. Yo! You don't have proper equipment to store some of the resources. What I don't have is a fucking clean floor! The potatoes are almost grown. <laughs> Growing potatoes outside of my fucking kid. I can't believe that this thing actually is working. Right, we got the garlic, we got the flour, we got the potatoes about to grow. I think I got the other ingredients as well. Where's the countess? Where's the ca- Oh, she made a mess. Okay, where's the count? Ah, okay, there she is. She's talking with the locals again. Oh no. They're gonna get me into trouble. Why, why the fuck everybody's going upstairs? Yo, guys, you're not supposed to even be here. Why are you up? I've made your staff room and yet you decide to go to the f upstairs. I know that the Countess has beautiful perfumes, but you're not supposed to be there anyway. I wonder would the potatoes finally grow because the, it was like the first stage. A little tiny bush has appeared over here. So now this thing made another full circle. So maybe now is gonna be the moment where I can actually harvest this thing. I hope so. So if you think about that, if I have managed to get, let's say, two fields... It depends how you look at it. Technically... I mean, it is worth in the long run to, to make yourself some gardens. But I'm not sure. Watering condition. Oh! Looks like we have ourselves some potatoes, boys! Fertilize, water, plant. Uh, well, what I want you to do is actually grab some potatoes, if you could be so kind. I got everything except for the potato. Oh! Aha! <laughs> Finally! <laughs> Someone is taking care of the fucking garden. A long last. Okay, good. So now we can actually serve the Countess her favorite dish. In this dirty, filthy tavern. Good. I don't know why every single part of my crew staff is, my, of my staff is actually going upstairs to talk with the countess i mean i know she smells a lot better than the normal customers that we have but holy shit how oh, the innkeeper as you've managed to get those potatoes shame it took so long i am no longer hungry besides duchess huttle and baroness mela are such blabbermouths tomorrow the whole of your will be talking about my figure and not in a good way so what the more the woman the better uh terrible Oh dear lady, this is the lightest dish this side of Phoenix Slate. Good food doesn't fed up. Dig in. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh dear lady, this is the lightest dish this side of the Phoenix Lake. This is a terrible way to say it, what you can say to a woman. Okay, let's go with this one, I guess. Failure. Ah, deception. I'm not a swine innkeeper, so stop treating me like one. Yeah, well, <laughs> apparently. Would that be all? 
I'm bored. Go and find me a bard. All right. Wait, what? It's right away, like Cincy. How the fuck am I supposed to find a bard? <laughs> Cincy, I grow a fucking potato all this time, and now she told me that she is not hungry. What did you eat? Fucking dirt on the floor? Ugh. Oh, fucking believable. Right, ladies and gentlemen. So the thing is, I'm getting slowly into the end of my record time. Uh, I'm guessing that Bart. Is this a Bart? No. Watchman. How do you get a Bart? Learn a recipe from Dortal. Talk to the knight. Set up a stage for the Bart. What knight? What stage for the Bart? I mean, what? What, what stage? What the fuck is this? Perfect if you're getting into gardening and want to be more efficient. Compose. Oh, so this is for the compost. Okay. Fertilizing. But what the fuck is a stage? Oh. Looks like I found myself a stage. Interesting. So you put this thing here and and this is how we get the bard instead of the king? The famous bard has arrived. Wait, what? My oh, and man. he needs start a performance? He needs a room! I cannot give you a room, I only have one! Seriously? Ah! Oh, terrible! My ears! Holy shit! I hope I'm not paying him anything because holy fuck! Are you enjoying Countess? The stupidest Bart? <laughs> the gradient dancing! What is this thing? Wait, hold on a second, maybe this is the last task of this mission. Could be. I have no idea. For now, he's just trying to destroy my ear eardrums. What a fine, fine Miss Shell you have hired, and what a great performance. Congratulations. I'm glad you've enjoyed the show. Can I do anything else? Uh, he did what he was paid to do. Okay, let's actually go with the more pleasant one. Can I do anything else? No, that'll be enough. But do visit my chamber at Midnight Keeper. Oh, really? Okay, so apparently that's gonna be the point where the uh, next quest is about to start. So yeah, I'm gonna leave this thing for the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please subscribe a lot. I'll see you all in the next video.